All right, you know what I'll do? Fuck it. I made the chat way bigger. Yeah. I'm kind of sorry, but you know, excuse me. Sorry. Yummy. Sorry, Bob. I need pussy now. You didn't hear that from me. Oh my god, Yeti with the gift sub. Babe, don't make me kiss you in your cheekbone, loving. I do the walking trick. It's just all angle. You need to have a proper angle. Um, I do a certain setup so that I just have to hold up left notch, but it's extremely difficult to get used to. Um, this is one of these tricks that just... No matter how long you try practice, you're gonna mess it up at some point, even if you get at it already, because it's just like, uh, precise. Usually, newer players, they just do this triple jump wall kick up here and get out. There's also a faster way to do the tri that triple that, that wall kick, which is like that. That's how I do my backup. Of course, this is way more difficult. Like, if I mess up the wall kick, I get a first frame. I'd see, see left once and then hold down right and then do the triple jump wall kick as a backup. How the fuck I could purposely get first frame wall kicks all the time now? <laughs> First frame. Oh, no. Alright. These are 120 star splits. <laughs> you should know by now when you ask that question. I'm not gonna answer correctly because I hate that question. That's a dumb question. Splits are just splits, dude. Ignore them. These are my D-Rust. I feel bad for myself splits. That's what they are. I always answer, I always answer, um, sarcastically the questions I don't like, because I like answering questions, so when I get a question that I, that I'm just tired of, I usually just answer stupidly. To make them realize that I don't like when I get asked, or, because like, I feel like ignoring, I don't like to ignore questions because, I don't like to ignore viewers. I think, because I hate when streamers ignore me when I ask them questions, so I think it's only fair I ask, even if I answer them sarcastically or something. If I could choose my sexuality in my next life, I would choose gay again. They ask you how you are, you don't just have to say I probably get less viewers. I don't know if, it, if I get less or more if I were gay or not. I know I've lost viewers. I know that there have been people they that would you 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 literally tell me that I'm gonna stop watching you or like leave because like they and I'm gay or whatever. <laughs> I don't care. Whatever. Is Liam record legit? No, it's not. It's fake. We're just trying to not act like it's fake. Because we're scared of him. He has nuclear bombs. I have no idea what is happening right now. No, I can't even do long jump back up. God. Why are they awful? Just really boring to do. You're resetting in the first two minutes constantly. And if you're not resetting in the first two minutes, you're resetting in the first five minutes. And it's just a shit show. Like, I don't want to do the first part of the game over and over again. That's literally the opposite of what I want to do. I want to play the game. <laughs> and then you get a really good run, and then you have to hope that you get BLJ's first try. Like, hello? No. That's a fucking, like... That's awful. BLJ's are gross, dude. They destroy the game. They don't destroy the game, they just make it inconsistent, and I like consistency. Speedrunning to me is supposed to be uh, skill-based. When you do something well, you're supposed to execute it properly. And um, you do you do uh, like a really good run, you have a good, good run, and then you have to like rely on BLJs at the end. No, it just, it's just really annoying. That's why I hate BLJs. That's why I hate LBLJ. I've, I have almost quit this game at least 10 times, just because of LBLJ. Because I reached points where I got so fed up that I just could not, I didn't want to have to do it anymore. But I, I, I need the 10 second time save, it's just like too much. Of course it makes sense, because it's like common sense. At least to me it's common sense, like why would you ever... To me it's like, why would you ever do a category that relies 
And in other games that has lots of RNG, where they have games where you literally have to rely on RNG once you lose a run. Why would you ever want to do that? That's awful. I want something that if I practice, then I get it consistently. And it's skill-based. Something that rewards a person's hard work more than like hoping that something happens first try. Like that's the only category of any game that I've run that had lots of that that had RNG like that was Ocarina of Time 100% with the damn pay. And I didn't even care that much. Um, I got used to it because I really like OOT, but I reached a point where it's like, eh, I kind of just lost interest. The concept of it and then watching them are, is really cool. I love the whole thing around it. But I hate actually doing them. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'd rather not. I mean, Pace is obviously cancelled, the live event, I mean. But the online event, no. Uh, we're still having an online event, uh, Ariel. It's, it's gonna be online. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the plan is to have it on the 28th of May, and we're waiting, like, finalization from Milo. So, the exciting part about Pace Online this year is we're officially partnering up, partnering up with CLG. So, it's gonna be a CLG and GSA official event, not just GSA. So, I'm really excited about that. CLG is gonna be on board. And the charity, we're raising money for charity for the event. It's gonna be a charity event. Uh, and it's gonna be a hack and sack charity, which is the charities that CLG works with. So I'm so glad CLG is partnering up with us to have it. Yeah, no, they can't. We can't have an online event, obviously, Ariel. Like the virus, half the world, the world is still in quarantine. We can't have an online event. We can't have a live event right now, in May. I still can't even f like go on a plane yet. I hope there will be face cams. Uh, I would imagine like in races there would be face cams. Um, yeah, no, actually, yeah. There should be. Like every run that goes by, they would have face cams. Kind of like how they did it. How ESA did the Movember event last year. Similar, hopefully similar to that. I mean, I leave my house to go to the grocery. Or my uncle's house, which is next, like very close. But we're not allowed to go anywhere else. People keep, like, it's not up to me, Pepper. We're not allowed to. The police and government are not allowing us to leave our house. More than a kilometer away or something. And I totally think that that's right, because the cases keep going up every time people go out, so... Um, I totally agree with not leaving my house. I don't think we should. Anyone thinks otherwise kind of doesn't really have any common sense. You shouldn't be leaving your house. Yeah, I've been hearing people are morons in the States about that, but I mean... It's the land of the free, right? I mean, if they want to die, they, then... Sure, free to die in that case. Up to them. I don't know, I don't really care. I'm just at home, chilling. I'm not, I'm not thinking about too much about the virus these days, I'm just chilling. I don't really watch like the cases and shit anymore. So they shot the person who told them. Okay. I can make a movie about that. Luckily, my state never went into full lockdown. I, I don't know how lucky that is, if I'm gonna be honest. What is happening right now with this? What the fuck? Hello? Alright, I know I'm rusty, but like, I know where I have to side foot there, man. The past month and a half, I really have not been playing this game. I play every, like, I've been playing about once a week, to be honest. Like, two hours a week I've played this game for the past, like, month and a half. So really, really a little bit. I learned some new things, like SSL Reds, I updated. I learned the SSL Pyramid stuff. Things that I've been wanting to learn, finally, I did. No, no, I recommend starting with 70 Star right away, actually. It's actually a lot better than starting with 16. Because 70 Star actually teaches you about movement a lot more than 16 Star does. When people start with 16 Star, they just focus all their time on mashing A up the stairs, and that does not get you good at the game whatsoever. So, uh, you actually learn way faster by doing 70 Star first. It not only teaches you a lot more about movement, but it teaches you just a lot more stars in general, so you get even better at most of the game. As opposed to 70, 16 Star. What? Okay, that was... I'm not surprised that happened, because I actually launched him way later than usual. That's probably why that happened. <laughs>